Hey guys, this is KT. How are you guys doing out there? I am sorry that I was not able to get any uh, video done this past year and a half or two years here. Uh, since this uh, COVID-19 uh, deal, I hope you all out there are uh, doing well and staying healthy. I know this COVID-19 deal thing is uh, hard on a lot of you out there and I wish you the very best, uh, the best of health, mostly, and I hope you are doing well at this moment. Uh, I have been very busy lately. I work for 3M, so 3M uh, ramped up their mass production this past year and a half uh, with the COVID deal. So uh, we are all very, very busy. And uh, plus the COVID, you know, with our families and friends. So it makes things very hard. So I was not able to do any videos and I apologize for that. Again, I hope you all out there are doing well, staying healthy. Well, today I am going to uh, start up a new uh, prawn growing deal here. So what you see here are my small juvenile. They are about uh, half an inch to three quarter inch in length. Around 30 days or so, 25 days, 30 days. And these here are my medium sized juvenile. They are about uh, 40 days, 45 days or so. About an, over an inch, inch and a quarter in size. Okay, so let me show you my bigger uh, juveniles. So in this tank here, I have my bigger juveniles. They are a good inch and a half, about 90 days old. So I'm setting up a new container uh, and I'm gonna move these guys over. I have a few dozen in here. So once I get my new container set up, I will move them to my new container and that will be my grow out container. So let me go show you what my container looks like. So this is a container that I will be setting my, uh, putting my bigger juveniles in here. This is a 100 gallon uh, stock tank that I got at Tractor Supply. This is what I got here. It's an old tank and it says 110. 110 gallon, but it's really 100 gallons. So, I have this tank sitting outside in my yard. Uh, filled with water for a couple weeks and then I drain it out so I clean it up so I brought it down here to my basement I'm gonna fill this one up with tap water I'm gonna treat it and then I'm gonna let it cycle for a few days before I uh, add the prawns okay so I'm gonna fill the water I'll be back in a little bit and uh, show you what it looks like. Okay, so I start filling up the stock tank with water now. So it takes a bit of time to fill it up because it is a 100 gallon tank. So I'll let my water hose sit in there for a bit. Okay, and get that, um, get it filled up. Okay, it looks like the uh, stock tank is filling up nicely. I got about uh, three inches of water already. So while we're waiting for this to uh, fill up, let's go talk about the filtration that I will be uh, using for this container. 
I don't know if you guys remember, if you see my other videos, I uh, used some homemade uh, filter. So let's go take a look at that. Okay, here are the filter I'll be using. Uh, I don't know if you guys remember now again uh, from my other video. If you watched it, you know that I show you how I make this filter out of uh, a one gallon ice cream container and a PVC pipe. Okay, that's drill in the bottom. So, and then inside the container, I'm gonna have bio balls and ceramic, little ceramic drill here. Okay, so this drill holes are around here about an inch and a half from the bottom it's gonna go in the center and then everything else is gonna be around it just like that okay I'm gonna use my scrap filtration stuff here some air future stuff uh, cut the little pieces so I'm gonna be shoving these around here you know try to get them in there all put them all around it nice and snug and then uh, the cover will be on. Just like that. So this is, this will be an air driven um, future. So the air stone is gonna go in here. Okay, so that's gonna driven the, the air is gonna go up and put, force the water through these little holes here so that these uh, filter media will filter it. The bio, bo bio ball will take care of the, the uh, biological filter. Okay, and the ceramic, uh, the ceramic deal down here that will take care of it also okay that will be my uh, biological filtration and then these pieces here will be my mechanical filtration so, so I'm gonna so I'm gonna be using just one of these here in my stock tank that uh, should be enough to uh, filter the 100 gallons because when I have my pool which is about 700 gallons I use two of these and the water is crystal clear so I'm going to use just one of these for now, and then if I need to, I'll just use the other one, but I think one should work just fine. Okay, so let's see how the tank's doing. Alright, uh, I got about uh, maybe four inches of water now. So let's give it a little more time, and then uh, we'll come back and check on it. Okay, my stock tank is about uh, half full now, so it's filling up nicely. While wait for the field up, I'm gonna treat it. Okay, maybe a little more. Okay, while we're waiting for the stock tank to fill it up, I got my uh, future uh, put together. Well, let's go take a look. Okay, so I got my future put together. I put all these filtration media in here. And I'm gonna put the covers on. Okay, it's gonna be driven by this one inch round air stone here. It's gonna go in here just like that. Okay, so I'm gonna get into the water now. Okay, while we're waiting for my stock tank to uh, to fill it up with water. It's almost full now. I'm gonna put this filter in. And then I'm gonna use the one inch round air stone. It's gonna go inside here. Just like that. Very, very simple. Just turn the air on. Okay, there you go. So let that run while this tank is filled up and I'm gonna let it run cycle for a few days. I will also be adding a uh, water heater in here so uh, I'll show you what that what that water heater I'll be using. Okay the water heater uh, I will be using is the 300 watt water heater. Okay this might not be enough so I might have to add another one, but I'm gonna try with this one first. Uh, let's see how well it heats the water. I will also get my uh, cover my container to keep the heat in. So that will help too to control it a little bit, the water temperature a little bit. But yes, I'm gonna just use one of these for now. Let's see how it goes. And, 
and if it's uh, if it's not able to keep up to keep the water warm, I will add another one. Okay. Uh, besides, I would have my containers cover uh, with a piece of plastic to keep the heat in and help control the temperature a little bit. Okay. So I'll uh, I'll get back to you guys and let you know how that works. Okay, guys. It's been about uh, three four days now. The water's been cycling with my filter. Uh, that one heater that I put in here was not enough to get the water up uh, to temp. So I have to add another heater in. So right now, my water temperature is at uh, 78. So I put this plastic cover on to help uh, uh, hold the heat in, okay? And then uh, while I was uh, waiting for the water to be ready, I went ahead and made a netting substrate. Okay, it's uh, two by two, so it's four square, uh, two by two, four square feet. So I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight layers. So got eight layers here. That's two by two. Okay, I'm gonna put that substrate in, and then I got the prawns ready over here, and I'm gonna be releasing in here. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and add the uh, the substrate. Okay, I finally got the substrate in. It's a tight fit, but it's in there. Okay, there's my filter. Here is the second heater. The first heater is over here. Okay, that's one I put in originally, and it was not enough to get the water up the temp, so. Uh, Right now, again, the temperature is 78. And let's get ready to release the prime in here. Uh, they've been sitting in it for a good 20 minute now. Uh, maybe a little longer. I'm just gonna count, I'm just gonna count, count out um, 25. I'm just gonna stock 25 in here only, okay? So, let's release them. Oops. One, two, five, six, seven, eight. 25, there's three more, so I'll go ahead and put 28 in here. So, I got 28 prawns in here. I got an extra air stone over here. So the filter in that side, I'm gonna put an air stone on this side. There they are, down there. There's one there. I'm not sure if you can see them there. Let's see. Okay. That's 28 prawns in here, in this 100 uh, gallon uh, stock tank. And I got a two by two netting substrate. That's four square feet per uh, layer. And I got eight layers per feet. So that should be good for about 25 prawns to 28 prawns. So, okay, I'll be, be back uh, maybe in a month or so, uh, when I get a chance and then I'll, I'll give you an update on how these guys do and how they grow. All right, thank you. Again, this is KT. Please subscribe if you have not. Uh, give us a thumbs up if you uh, find this helpful. And uh, uh, thank you for supporting my channel. Stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll see you next time. Bye. -bye.